Hey guys, it's Bailey and welcome back to the channel for what is going to be a quick review of some brand new lipsticks from the brand Bite Beauty. These are the Amuse Bouche lipsticks. I have three shades to talk about today and I got these from Influencer. If you are a content creator, whether it's here on YouTube or I think even blogs, Influencer is basically just a place where you can go and depending on what you like to talk about on social media, you might be eligible to try different products, whether it is beauty or I'm sure they have like lifestyle food, things like that. Not really sure because I'm a beauty girl, obviously. So that's where I got these from, but let's talk more about them. They retail for $26 individually, which is not abnormal for the brand Bite, but for one lipstick is kind of steep. So right away I had really high expectations for these, which from what I understand Bite typically delivers on, I think I've tried one of their lip products. It was like a creamy um, lip pencil that was very nourishing. It wasn't super pigmented. It was kind of sheer, balmy finish. I liked it well enough, but it wasn't anything like spectacular, but it was good for what it was. So so have these now and they promise they are they're like a lipstick shade you can see they come in these nice sleek bullets they do have that kind of kind of like NARS packaging where it's that soft matte texture but unlike NARS packaging it doesn't get dirty I've thrown these in my purses these have been kind of everywhere like I haven't taken special care to keep these clean they just have stayed nice and neat as they are so that's really nice then you twist them up they are in a typical lipstick format with a nice pointed tip which is good these have a lot of pigmentation so having that tapered tip makes it really nice for getting precise application and then they have a cute little embossed or stamped B I guess into the tube itself so 10 out of 10 for presentation but basically these are supposed to be ultra rich very creamy highly pigmented and nourishing lipsticks basically like a lipstick and lip treatment in one the three shades I have I'll start with the one that I'm wearing which is pepper it's a great dusty rose beautiful for kind of like everyday wear I'm off to work today and so this was kind of a good neutral natural go-to pairing for the kind of natural daytime eye I have however there are two other beautiful shades that I'm pretty in love with one one is beetroot, which is this amazing kind of plummy wine purple. And then there is gazpacho, which is this amazing blue based red. And I think you'll be able to see as I'm applying all these in the demo throughout this review, they definitely deliver on the pigmented, first of all, crazy pigmented right off the bat, definitely deliver on that front, but also the creaminess. I mean, one swipe, and especially with the darker shades like gazpacho, just it's like full on pigmentation with one swipe across the lips. They don't tug or pull. They lay down a nice layer of product without having to go and layer up to build pigmentation or build product. They leave a nice balmy finish to the lips. And what I noticed with the darker shades, because this is, you know, pepper is kind of a your lips but better shade for me. It really matches my natural skin tone, so it's hard to tell when it wears off, but I noticed it most with the deeper shades that they stain your lips. So even once that kind of balmy finish is gone, you, you will see it transfer on glasses, it'll come off with food and stuff, but the color itself stains the lips, which I personally love because I am not about the life of having to go to the bathroom every hour, couple hours to see where on your face your lipstick has moved or if it's still there, if you need to reapply hate that so i like it when lipstick stain my lips i know some of you guys don't though so it's just something to be aware of the thing that i like though is that even once that finish is gone away my lips didn't feel uncomfortable so many lipsticks and lip products that stain the lips like that once the kind of comfortable finish is gone your lips are left feeling dry and tight and because this is supposed to be a lip treatment i really do feel like it lives up to that once the finish is gone whether or not it's worn off or had a chance to sink into lips my lips just felt really high hydrated and plumped and basically it delivers on all fronts for me and is really one of the few lipsticks now that I think about it that actually does that a lot of lipsticks say you know they're for comfortable wear they hydrate the lips etc but these have a true um not even buttery texture because I, I think buttery, people will know what I say when I mean buttery, but buttery is almost greasy and these just feel a little bit thicker, a little bit richer. And before I forget, because I feel like I always forget when I talk about lip products, the scent, they are lightly scented citrus very very lightly typical of any bite beauty product if you've ever tried them i don't i personally find it really pleasant you can't taste the citrus you just smell it when you apply it it dissipates quickly and then taste wise it's just slightly sweet it's nothing overwhelming i think even if you do if you are kind of sensitive to taste or sense in your lip products or beauty products in general these are not going to bother you so 
I had really high standards for these guys, 26 bucks a pop, but they really delivered. I do think that they are outstanding in terms of nourishing lips, lipsticks go, especially those that deliver serious pigmentation. I mean, it's insane and lasting power. So that's it for me. Would really recommend these to you guys if you were, have been eyeing them for yourself. But beyond that, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.